the fellow Trump supporters, listen, we have to stop this spread of misinformation about these natural disasters and these hurricanes, all right? Uh, no, I'm not just talking about space lasers and particle accelerators. No, I'm talking about the, the misinformation that's really causing people harm. These hurricane victims up there that are already suffering, we're just making it worse on them because we're confusing them. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to believe because of us. And it's already been debunked uh, um, by not just the people on the ground, uh, but by the military that's there. Um, by FEMA. FEMA had to set up an entire website dedicated to debunking all of our misinformation that we're spreading around. Uh, it's been debunked by the governors of the states that are affected. Uh, so, And we keep doing it anyway, knowing it's all been lies. And we keep doing it. And the thing is, it's making us look real bad, okay? People are paying attention to what we're doing, y'all, because we're coming up on an election. And in fact, some states are already early voting in this election. And, and, they, and they're watching us, and they're like, well, I, I know that they couldn't possibly sink to a new level of disgustingness, and we do, like a champ. We do it every time. So they're paying attention uh, to what MAGA is all about, see? And what they see is that what we are actually doing is rooting for the failure of the federal government's response. We're rooting for the failure of FEMA. We are rooting for more suffering for hurricane victims because we want the federal government to look bad so that we can point our finger at them and blame them so that we can get our dear orange Jesus back in the White House again. That's why we're doing it. Everybody knows that's why we're doing it. And we need to stop. Like I said, it makes us look bad. See, we are actually getting pleasure by causing somebody else pain. And by definition, that is sadistic. Um, so everybody knows why we're doing it. We need to stop. It's not helping anything. It's actually causing more harm. See, they also know that it's Republicans that are causing the damage. See, it's, it's Speaker of the House of Gilead, Commander Mike Johnson, who's refusing to come back and hold a vote to increase funding for FEMA whenever there's another hurricane right now about to hit the state of Florida. So everybody knows who to blame. And it ain't the federal government. It's the Republican Congress and us for spreading misinformation about that. So people know what's going on. They're not stupid, okay? And now people know exactly what MAGA does stand for, and it's not conservatism, and it's not being a Republican. It has nothing to do with politics whatsoever. We don't even understand how policies work or the government works. People see that crystal clear now, okay? You ever watch the Trump rally? You ever notice when Donald Trump gets the most applause is when he's punishing somebody. Uh, let's take NATO, for instance. If they don't pay their fair share... We ain't coming to their rescue. That's punishment. People applaud. Tariffs. We're going to charge them 200%. Put a hurting on them. People applaud. Punishment. Immigrants coming across the border. We will make them pay for illegally crossing our border. And in some cases, he's even mentioned unaliving them. And people applaud. Punishment. MAGA is a party of punishment and retribution. Maniacism cynicism, anarchy, all fueled by fear and hatred of people who don't look like us or think like us. And I think the American people have about had enough of it. Inmate Trump, 2024.